My name is Sophie Hermans. I'm a student applied physics here in Delft and I'm doing my thesis project here within QTEC. I think I'm patient and that comes in useful if your measurement doesn't work out in the way that you see it at first. And also persistent, that you keep on going. I'm part of uh, Team Diamond and we're trying to build a quantum internet with diamonds as nodes. And in these diamonds we use nitrogen vacancy centers or NVs which we can entangle and use as the nodes. A nitrogen vacancy is a defect in the diamond, and it consists of a nitrogen atom sitting next to a vacant spot in the lattice. Its properties make it suitable for entanglement. In current setup, the entanglement rate is too slow to build a quantum internet in practice. And we think we found a solution by placing the diamonds in a small cavity. The cavity is formed by two tiny mirrors, placed less than 10 microns apart. That's so small that a human hair would not fit in between them. The sample, in this case a thin diamond membrane, is placed inside the cavity. We can precisely adjust the position of the mirrors. By tuning these mirrors, we force the NV centers to emit more resonant photons, which we can use to build the entanglement. There are many challenges within this project. And I, as a master student, was appointed to look for a suitable sample to place in this cavity setup. We have to cool down the diamonds to very, very low temperatures, 4.6 Kelvin, or in Celsius that is uh, minus 268. We suffer from vibrations and drift of the optical uh, fiber mirror. The signal is very low because the mirrors reflect a lot of the light. And we have to be sure that the NV centers are really inside the cavity beam. If you work in a project team or here within QTEC or any project team, then you should have a feeling of what makes the other person in the team comfortable about what they're doing and also in the ambience within the, within the team. I think in that way people can share their opinion and they feel invited to share their opinion and that makes everyone better. I don't know yet what the implications of a quantum internet will be, but I think it will be the invention of the 21st century and I'm very proud that I can be a scientist in this research field.